Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, or so they say. When you think of Philly, you think of the founding of the United States, cheesesteaks, and a flourishing art culture. All great stuff. Unfortunately, it's also home to one of America's most notorious mobs, the Philadelphia Parking Authority. The PPA is overzealous and makes Philadelphia an unwelcoming place for tourists and residents alike. I am not too pleased with them right now. The PPA is all about money. When you park down here, they just like wait at your car as soon as the ticket expires and they're ready to give you a ticket. There's crackheads and junkies sitting on the side of the road shooting up right in front of these people that the city of Philadelphia has paid to f***ing take care of meters. I guess technically they're not cops, but they're security, but shouldn't they be calling the cops on these people? This is a ticket I got, right? The meter made it standing right there at the meter. I'm running up the street. Miss, miss, I'm coming, I'm right here, I'm right here. I'm running up the street and I get like right there. She's waiting at the meter for it to click. And as soon as it vi went violated, she just write to me a ticket. And I get up to her and I said, why did you do, do that? I'm telling you I'm coming. And she says, too late. Does anybody even really like meter maids? I mean, they're shitty people. I don't even think meter maids like themselves. Oh, I like to think that meter maids get into cat fights every once in a while. Maybe one meter maid would be like, Ha ha, I made $10,000 in fines today. What did you do? Regular meter maids are obnoxious to begin with, but the ones in Philadelphia are not only annoying, but they're also television stars. Parking wars is about parking authority people being assholes. They're assholes to employees of all the businesses in the cities. They're assholes to dads, to families, to girlfriends, to boyfriends, to cats, and to you. Parking Wars was a very one-sided show. 99 times out of 100, the meter maids, the boot people, the impound lot employees would be in the right. What they didn't show you is there was a school controversy, and they also don't show you where the meter maids write bad tickets. We understand that, that parking enforcement's necessary. It's a necessary evil, but I mean, why, why do the fees and, and, the, and the, the fines and, and all this sh gotta be so f***ing expensive? It's not just the common sense laws. They're actually gonna ticket you for obscure things, like parking too close to the curb. Parked in an unmetered space, $26 fine. Too close to the corner, $51. Too close to a fire station, $51 fine. Parking within 50 feet of railroad crossing, $31. Displaying vehicle for sale on roadway, $301. Parking while license suspended, $101. Too close to signals, $36. Unlawful vehicle alarm, $101. Excessive idling of vehicle, $101 fine, and government workers are exempt. Parking on grass, $101 fine. Abandoned vehicle, $301 fine. Well, I do have one good thing that I can say about the PPA. Their first two letters are PP. So even in traffic court, even if you win the case, you lose because you have to pay for the gas to get there. You have to pay for the tolls to get there. You have to pay for the parking while you're there and you have to take time off of work. If you don't pay their outrageous fines, your tire gets a lock on it, what they call a boot or an immobilizer, and then they tow your vehicle away. So when your car gets towed, and you're too poor to pay the impound fine, which is ridiculously high, so of course you're not gonna be able to afford that. What happens then? Pure f***ed. Your car just gets auctioned off. Parking in Philadelphia is like playing Russian roulette, because even if you find an open spot, you're better off parking in a parking garage or a parking lot, because you can get a ticket and it's nearly impossible to contest it. I've read a lot of stories, heard a lot of stories about people going to buy their parking voucher, you know, so they can park and getting ticketed by the PPA. And that's just some bullshit because how are you supposed to go get the ticket to park if you can't leave your vehicle? These sons of bitches feel they're above the law. We're gonna bend them over our knees and teach them a little lesson. It's time the vigilantes got into some parking battles of our own. Hey, PPA. Your time, time is, is up. up. The parking war ain't over yet, bitches! Look who's got the boot now! Look who's got the boot!
got the cameras and microphones now! We do! Boot vans, uh, meter maids who drive around. I caught them on camera violating different things like parking too close to the corner, blocking a disabled ramp. Okay. What do I, you know, is there a way I can like report them? Um, all you can do is call the PPA. So I call the PPA on the PPA? That's, yeah, that's all you can do. Excuse me, ma'am. Why? God, we're with a new TV show called Parking Battles. Uh, we're here to expose a little bit about parking authorities. Uh, I got some photographic evidence of one of your folks with a boot van um, committing some uh, violations yeah. here. Are you allowed to do this? I mean, what yeah, yeah, we're allowed to do this. Uh, I don't know if you're, are you allowed to block the alleyway? This is exhibit that A. I don't know anything Blocking about the alleyway. Honey, let me finish. I don't know anything about booting, and I mean, I have to go to the restroom. But here's the photos we were trying to show. This guy is blocking the alleyway. That fat guy on a motor scooter can't get home because it's blocking it. This guy is parked on the sidewalk. Again, very not good. That is a big no-no. And finally, exhibit FU. This guy is parked way too far from the curb. Who wants to boot? Which PPA employee wants to boot? You thieves, this is the den of thieves. The impound lot den of thieves. Who wants to boot on their car? Because we got one now. Hi, I'm Inspector 31. How are you, sir? Um, I'm doing okay. This is actually a citation for uh, three, uh, actually two, two counts of jaywalking okay. and uh, one count of improper crossing. Okay. Look at them. Look at the PPA guys running from the truth. They didn't even see the truth and they already ran from it. Excuse me, sir. Um, a lady just told me that you were actually trying to give her a ticket and her meter was still three minutes valid, so I'm giving you a ticket for ticketing somebody illegally. Here you go. Here you go. Keep it. All right. Well, look. Yeah, you got seven days to pay it. Otherwise, a late fee will be assessed, and you can fight it in court. But the judge is my friend, so more than likely, you're you're not going to get away with it. Um, if you if you get three two more of these, I will be around to boot you. All right. And I'm going to boot your feet. Oh, look. Authorized vehicles only! And what's over here? No parking! No trespassing! But they'll trespass! Whoops! 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 But they don't want this boot! Oh no! Well let me tell you something, Mr. Impound Thief! When this show gets a bigger budget, we're gonna be back with a whole fleet of tow trucks! And we're gonna go right in there and take your cars like you take other people's cars. Would you like to say anything before we leave? We need to leave because the police are on your way. And uh, how's it feel to get your V-card? What's that? Your V-card? I don't know that. It's getting a citation from us. How, right. how does it feel? How does it feel to get your V-card? Does it feel good? And when we come back, you're going to need Every single last one of the meter maids, tow truck drivers, and impound lot employees in my fuzzy pink handcuffs. Because you are criminal. Grand Theft Auto. Alignment engaged. Big Red One, alignment engaged. Operation Rolling Slumber engaged. Blue Streak reporting.